have you ever been in a situation where you've had an unexpected, like, oh my God, that was amazing performance, where it just moved you? Like, have you ever been in that place where either hip hop, rap, R&B, pop? Uh, I still, there's two artists that I've worked with that are just like, every time I hear them sing, I'm just like, and it was Dave Hollister, which that guy's just, I mean, he's he's from the church, and anybody that's from the church can just completely sing. So, him and Joe, the R&B artist Joe. Like, those guys, to me, just, they don't have to try at all. And NDRE is the same way. They just don't have to try. All they have to do is open their mouth and go, they're on key, they're on pitch, they're in the pocket, they have the right intensity, they know how to work the mic, it's just like, and then you just get goosebumps. You're just sitting back like, oh my God. But don't you think that's also like they're connecting into something bigger? Like, like in those They are moments. one with the music, yeah, excuse yeah. me. Yeah, I'm good answer. Those are those, are, those are those veteran artists, you know, that actually know what's going on. Like, I mean, you know, you can edit this however you want, Carson, but a lot of the newcomers don't know the proper mic etiquette and know how to sing into a microphone and know how to control their voice. Like, I was working with somebody not too long ago that was like, soft, 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 loud, 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 soft, 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 loud, and I'm like, okay, you can't sing it like that into the microphone. You gotta like, you know, be able to work the mic or just work your vocal so it's not this big and then that big and then this big and then that big. You know, it's just... And that, that gets annoying and that gets frustrating as an engineer. Like you're sitting here, take 300, take 400. Oh my God, he, he, he just has no concept of dynamics. And that's the messed up thing in Pro Tools is you can see what takes you on the side. And sometimes you'll look over, you're like on 1200, and you're like, and you're like oh my God. Oh my God. No, I think it's funny too with the, with the volume thing up and down because I do with a lot of I think it's interesting that they, they do that type of performance and I'm already thinking, okay, well, I'm going to have to like, you know, edit it and work it out. But they come in and they listen and they're wondering why it's jumping like up and down. Like, well, why is that line louder? Why it's, I'm like, you know, you learn to how to kind of like describe that without saying, well, you just did that. Like, I, I'm, I just recorded it. Like, that's exactly the take. I haven't even had a chance to like to do anything to mm -hmm. it. Um, you know, we're more it's like, well, you know, you're really into this part or whatever. And, you know, just kind of like, just you know, try to let them know that you know we'll sort it out and we'll deal with it. But yeah, that happens a lot. Just it's like really. Loud. I get the feeling that there's people that never really like learn how to how to do live. Like they've never done anything live where it was in a controlled environment. They never did like the open mic nights or anything because you know that's where you learn all that stuff. Mm -hmm. like, you know, I can't be super loud and really quiet in a, in a place that has ten people sitting in it. It'd be crazy. It'd sound nuts. So mm -hmm. you know, they worked it out and they figured it out. And I think a lot of a lot of people that we work with sometimes skip that whole process. Like they never went and did stage anything really. They, right. you know, they did their showcase, they got signed, they did their showcase, they got a deal, we're making the record, that's it. Mm -hmm.